Seventh grade TCAP practice test, mass section, question number 30. I've said basically that same intro a million times, so I apologize if I don't get all excited about the intro part, but I am kind of interested in this question. Uh, number 30 says, a taxi company charges an initial fee of $4. If you see that term initial fee, it means you're paying it whether you go anywhere or not. The taxi shows up, it's $4. And then it's $2 per mile. That per thing is important there. Um, for taxi fares. The total taxi bill for UMA to travel from hotel to an airport was $56. So the total is 56. So I'm going to circle those so they go together. The equation below can be used to find in the number of miles travel. How many miles did UMA travel in the taxi? Now there's a couple of ways you can do this problem. They gave you the uh, all the information you needed. You can solve for n or you can just try plugging stuff in, right? We talked about substitution earlier. If you just take the n out and put a parenthesis and you uh, plug in the values, you can see which one equals 56 because math is all about finding the truth, right? So I'm going to plug 30 in here as my first possible choice. So I do 2 times 30 plus 4 and it gives me 64. So it's not 30. If I mark out that 30 there and I try 28 instead. I'll do 2 times 28 or 2 parentheses 28 plus 4 and it gives me 60. It's supposed to give me 56 so it's not that one. If I tried 26 so 2 parentheses 26 plus 4 and it gives you 56 equaling 56 so this is the correct answer so substitution is one way you can solve it or you can just solve the equation, which may take way less time, especially if you hate plugging things into the calculator all the time because it's really easy to make a mistake and pick the wrong answer. If I have this, I'm going to solve for n. So in my class, this is called parties over. It's like having a party at your house. Uh, you have two types of people that show up, your friends, and then friends of friends show up. When it's time for the party to end, you've got to kick one group of people out first. Your friends might help you clean up. The friends of friends will just annoy you, so let's get rid of them first. I'm going to draw the line down the equal sign. If n is you, your friends are going to be next to you, so the 2 is your friend. So to eliminate friends of friends, I need to get rid of plus 4. To get rid of something, I do the opposite operation of what's shown. So instead of plus 4, I'm just going to do minus 4. I get 52 here. I'm going to bring down my 2n, and this is the finish it step, which is the last step. I need to do the opposite operation of what's shown to get n by itself. So 2 is touching n, which means that they're multiplying, like hamsters touch and they're multiplying. Same with numbers and letters. Divide by 2 to get rid of times. 52 divided by 2 is 26. So just like we figured out before, either way you want to solve it will get you the right answer. And in the end of all things for this test, that's all that really matters. So good luck with that question when you get it on your test.